Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. Go ahead and pause the video to just try to solve this one on your own first, and then when you're ready to continue, press play. All right, fifth grade, welcome back. So this one says match each division expression with its equivalent value. Awesome, okay. So what we do is we have these expressions over here and they're division expressions that we need to rewrite as a fraction, right? So let me go ahead and take off that first one. Taking that fraction, let me bring it down to where I can work it out on paper. So five divided by six is the same as five sixths, okay? So because of that, I can go ahead and just mark find five sixths. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? Let's try the next one. We've got six divided by five. Well, as a fraction, we can write that as six divided by five or six fifths. Now, I don't see an answer that says six fifths, but I do see an answer that says one and one fifth. And that's true because six fifths can be decomposed as five fifths plus one fifth. And five fifths is the same as what? One whole, right? So this would be equal to one whole and one fifth. So that's how we get that answer, just like that. All right, let's move on to the, the expression of three divided by 10. And we can rewrite that as a fraction right down here. Three divided by 10 is the same thing as three tenths. Do you see that as a fraction? Yeah, I do too, the very first one. So let's go ahead and mark that. Or I need to go ahead and mark that. And then we have our final division expression, 10 divided by three. Let's write that as a fraction, 10 divided by three. Awesome. Now, do you see 10 thirds up there? I don't either, but I see three and one third, which I believe is equivalent, but I'm going to make sure that it is first. Okay, so 10 thirds, could be decomposed as three thirds plus three thirds, that would be six thirds, plus three thirds would be nine thirds, plus I'm running out of room, but one third. There we go. So three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds plus one third does equal 10 thirds. So because of that, that would be one, two, three holes, three holes and one third. Let's mark that one. And that is how it is done. So go ahead and pause the video to jot down your notes. And when Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.